how much of the book is real? That's a question I get all the time. About 80%. All the bad stuff pretty much is, is true. I invented the Rianzi character. There's a spoiler alert, alert for the video. So, uh, she's completely made up. Uh, but I wanted, I wanted a coming of age story. I wanted him to experience the full range of emotions growing up, including falling in love for the first time. And there was none of that in his real life. In his real life, his obsession was survive mama and papa and escape into the military. And the, the military saved their lives and the lives of so many other boys throughout the South, but also throughout the rest of the US. But Papa was, I think, even worse than he's depicted in the book. Mama, I think, was even worse than she was depicted in the book. Um, the uh, two men who sharecropped um, on the land with them, they were based on real men and thank God for them because both of those men provided father surrogates for these, these boys. I don't know what happened, what would have happened to them if they didn't have those two African-American men who were sharecropping on the same land and kind of looked after the boys as much as they could. Uh, Papa really did have at least one other family and probably more than that. Uh, Mama really was just as promiscuous and probably more so than I depicted in the book. Uh, you know, so that put huge strains on the family and, and on the boys, too. You know, with Papa, they got to the point as old men that they could joke about Papa. They never joked about Mama. In a way, they saw Mama, and I know this is going to shock you, they saw Mama as worse than Papa. You know, even though Papa beat the tar out of them and scared the living daylights out of them on a daily basis, you know, Papa was fully capable of killing every one of them and then sitting down and finishing his supper. They saw Papa as a force of nature. You might as well go out and shake your fist at a tornado for all the good it's going to do you. But Mama had the ability to pull them out of the path of that tornado. And more times than not, she chose to push them into the path of the tornado. And that made her worse in their eyes. My father-in-law really was named after the high sheriff in that North Florida County as basically as a bribe, you know, an additional bribe to this guy to let uh, Papa run, run the moonshine, you know, from the distillers. Notes distillers are based on real people, those moonshiners deep in the woods and all. Those are based on real people, stories my, my father-in-law told, bad, bad, dangerous people. That man deserved to die the way he, he died in the book. In real life, what happens is he gets out of prison. He really did try to kill Mama. It, uh, he, he tried to kill her with a knife instead of that gun he always wore, which surprised me until there was a friend of mine who grew up in a real tough neighborhood in Chicago, and he explained to me that Knifing somebody is much more personal than shooting somebody. And he, he wanted to make it as personal as possible when he tried to kill Mama. She survived. Um, it was not quite as dramatic as, as shooting her in the cafe, which is why I changed things. Just poetic license. It's a novel. I'm not writing memoir. Uh, he goes to jail. He goes to a federal prison. He gets out and he gets a job with the FBI as an informant. So they give him pictures of most wanted men and he hangs out in train stations and Greyhound depots and he's matching faces uh, as people are getting on and getting off uh, the buses and trains. And he can call his FBI contact if, there's, if he's got a match and they pick him up and if the match is a good match and they take that person in, he gets money. And so he made a living as a professional rat basically for a few years and always stayed on the periphery of the family. So that little scene about, uh, at the very beginning, that prologue about Papa's back, you know, driving past in the nice car and all, that was their one encounter with Papa after he'd gotten out of prison. Uh, and he eventually ends up down in Florida and has another family. Well, he never got divorced from Mama. So he, he ends up with another family and uh, uh, they eventually learn about his, his death from the daughter of that other family. That was not a satisfactory end for that man. And I'm writing a novel, so I'm gonna fill that SOB full of lead. And uh, so I took great pleasure in knocking that man off, because if anybody deserved a bad end, he did. Well,